everybody. Today we're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. We're gonna head up to Anakista. It's springtime. We wanna check out all the beautiful flowers they have up there and just see what's new. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. We're back here at Anakista, and we're gonna take the chairlift up to the very top. It's been a while since we've been here, believe it or not. And we're off. Yes, we're off on an adventure to Anakista. There's the Ridge Rambler. You don't have to take the chairlift to the top. Definitely an alternative to get to Anakista. And Dawn always loses her hats from the wind, so I took the hat <laughs> off. There's nothing better but flying high above Gatlinburg on these chairlifts. Your feet just dangle Damn. down. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in the Smokies. We're actually at 88 degrees today, so it's a little bit toasty, but the sun will peak behind the clouds every now and then. And I think we picked the perfect time to come up here. And there's nobody here. Uh, we're gonna treasure these days because pretty soon the kids will be out of school and every day will be madness here in the mountains. But uh, let's go up and check out. And Anna. I might just add, there was no line today. No line, we got, got right, right on. on. So we're season, we're annual pass holders to Anakista, and there's a fast lane. It's actually a benefit. If you come here more than like three times a year, I highly suggest getting the, the pass because you even get ahead of everybody in the line, like a VIP section. I guess that guy soiled himself. He said he pooped. He, he, his pants. He, he, that's what he said. Yeah. I just pooped my pants. I thought, oh no. I was worried about because he flew right over the top of us at the time. And I thought, oh no. Oh no, maybe we're going to get, you know, some, a little bit of that. <laughs> a little. But it sounds like they're having a good time though, right? Yeah. yeah I are. think he was joking. I hope so. I think there's a Bigfoot over there, hanging out next to that tree. So we made it to the top, and the first thing we're gonna do is try their new smokehouse restaurant. Uh, we've never tried it before. Last time we were up here, there was like a four hour wait for it. So we're gonna do that first. We're gonna do this food review first, and then we're gonna go around and show you everything that's up here and here we are we're here at the cliff top now open for breakfast every day saturday and sunday until 11. it's absolutely amazing up here the views from the dining room here definitely love the uh, the architecture
And here's their menu. They got great beginnings. And those are ranging about $8. They have thick cut onion rings, French onion soup, fried green tomatoes, and they have mesquite smoked wings. They also have signature salads. They have a wedge, a Caesar, a cliff top salad, and they also have a nut and berry. They have Smoky Mountain burgers. They have a, you can make it a double for $5 more, and they have a bison patty for seven. They also have Gregory's bulb, which is a, a burger. They have a Mount Lacant, which is $16. They have the Elk Mont, and then the Appalachian bison burger, which is 17. They also have signature entrees, which is uh, shrimp and grits, uh, braised bison short rib, bourbon glazed salmon, and sea scallops. <laughs> uh, they also have cliff. They also have cliff top clubs, which are eight dollars, and they have sides, which are six. We've been waiting here for ten minutes, and nobody has shown up. We haven't even seen like a a waitress or a waiter or anything so she sat us down at the table yeah and she left. And we haven't seen anybody so i don't know we might have to get up and try to find someone i don't know this review ain't start not turning out real good right now is it no not not right now we got a nice view though beautiful view though i could sit here and look at the view all day uh but i would at least like a drink right yeah you know we didn't get that either yeah <laughs> So apparently we're being overlooked. We're actually serving other people that come in after us. So um, I don't know. We might have to. I don't know. I'm just having a bad feeling about this review. Um, now this is the third time we've been up here to do this review, and each time there's been like either a four-hour wait or we stopped taking reservations, and now we actually made it inside and we've been totally ignored by the staff since we walked in. I've even got the attention of one of them and they still continue to walk away. Uh, so we might have to cut this one short. This might be a review that we don't do. So we decided that we weren't gonna eat there. Uh, first time we ever did this. We've always followed through on our, on our restaurant reviews. Uh, so we were ignored for the first 20 minutes. We noticed other people were getting served before us. I tried to flag down one of the waitresses and finally they, they sat a party down of like eight next to us. She was close enough, I was like, hey, what about us? And she's like, oh, I'll get to you in a minute. And I said, well, no, you need to get your manager to come over. And she says, okay, I will. And I watched her in the corner of my eye go back to her manager and her manager kind of turned around and kind of like, like she didn't want to be bothered. Now we noticed that the prices there were, were quite expensive and their, their menu wasn't that extensive. Um, the steaks were like what, $35 and the burgers were like 18, 19, kind of pricey. I just told Dawn, I said, let's just get out of here because we have a feeling we're gonna give that a bad review. On the way out, we did run past the manager. I did tell her I was dissatisfied with it and she kind of just didn't really care, did she? That's, is that what you got? Is it, is, I don't think she cared. Yeah, I don't think That's she really fine. cared. Uh, there's a lot of other folks here want, wanting to get in. That was our third attempt there. Uh, so yes, I'm not gonna say we're gonna recommend that place. Um, after seeing the menu especially, um, there's a lot of places down in Gatlinburg you can eat at and probably get a lot bigger bang for your buck. We're not gonna let one bad thing ruin our day up here Anakista guys. Anakista is awesome. There is so much to do up here. One of our favorite places to do here in Gatlinburg. In fact, it probably is our favorite uh, place here in Gatlinburg. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna see what's new and just check things out. You should see the view we're looking at right now. You see the view? It's amazing. These rockers are just so comfortable. Well, these are real interesting. They're like bike rims. And they're, and they're flowers. Well, somebody's been painting these mountains here. There's a great big, huge, what do you call that? Painter's easel? What is that, Dawn? It's a painter's easel. But there's flowers in it. What do you think about that? <laughs> but anyways, we're here at Vista Garden. There's these great big tubes of paint, but flowers come out of them instead of, instead of paint. They're, they're actually huge. This one here is apricot orange. Oh, 
Well, this is new here. You got a little water fall on the pathway up to Vista Gardens. Also a neat little bear with a, with a fish in his mouth. Neat little pink bike over there. It says, for display only, do not ride. Lots to do, lots of little places for kids to play, little obstacle courses. Lots of different levels to sit and, and just relax. There's a little refreshment stand called the watering can. That wasn't here before. Looks like I got all kinds of little treats and and just, just things. And there's those glass panels you can actually walk out on. Look at that. <laughs> oh boy. That's quite the, quite the drop, actually. That's a long way down. That's <laughs> a long way down, huh? A lot has changed up here in the last few months. There's so much going on. So much more building. It's actually quite, quite impressive. There's Mount LeConte straight ahead. Looks so big up here. This is a really nice little seating area. The sad part though is they took out a lot of the old gardens in here that I loved. Not as much flowers as they used to have. So Dawn, do you agree that they took a lot of the flowers out? There's really nothing left down there now. Yeah. They just have the hummingbirds and everything else and the flowers. And... It's kind of windy up here today, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely amazing up here. You can get a 360 degree view of the Great Smoky Mountains right from here. This is always a fun little spot to walk through. They also have Bear Venture here. It's actually for younger folks, a little obstacle course. Definitely, definitely fun. These azaleas are really, really beautiful. Look at that. Definitely, uh, they've popped. You could tell they're doing a lot of construction, a lot of exposed brick. And Dawn, do you want to do this obstacle course? You got stuck. You got stuck like Winnie the Pooh, didn't you? Yep. Yes. My shoe got stuck in the net. That was it for me. <laughs> and this is the obstacle course here. Yeah. Just like, just like Pooh. She. Uh, you got, you got stuck down there in the bottom, didn't you, last time? Yeah. Yeah. You survived though, right? Yeah. And here's Willow. Hello, Willow. See, you're still up here watching over the mountains. Well, carry on, my friend. Carry on. And this is new, too. It's called the Happy Camper. They serve well, pretty much beer and water and chips. A little snack stand. There's a lot of these up here. It's a lot of nice places to sit up here. Nice benches. A couple of swinging benches. Panoramic views of the, the Great Smoky Mountains. In fact, right ahead of us is the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Except for over there on that hill. That's still, there's some cabins over there. It'd be nice to stay in one of those cabins over there. 
What do you think about staying in one of those cabins over there one day? Nice. Yeah. That's a nice view. They're probably expensive though, right? Yeah. Probably. Sure they are. Well, look at the view. Look at the view you're going to get. I have to do some research and find out. Well, are those for rent? Here's a new paved pathway behind Willow here. This wasn't here the last time we were here either. Probably more views to be had over here. Yeah, this is a, a nice little walkway. Definitely new. I like this here. What do you think about this, Dawn? It's kind of like... It's different. Kind of like floral looking, right? <laughs> yeah. Treetop skywalk this way. And there they are. The skywalk. And they've actually repaired the bridges that were destroyed during a windstorm we had a while back. So you can now walk the full the full length. I haven't been here since they've repaired it. Let's go check this out. <laughs> Dawn, are you? Don't rock these. It's not me. Wow, it's, it's pretty ba bad, Dawn. You do this every time. Whenever there's a bridge, I don't know. It's Will. No, it's not. <laughs> And we finally have made it to the, the new section here. So there's a little rest area in between the bridges now. You can actually sit here. It's quite, quite big. I think I found a dingo ball. Uh, what is that? Yeah, it's definitely got dingo balls though. Look at that. Dingle, 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 dingle. <laughs> what do you think about that? A nice little photo opportunity here. You can sit uh, two couples or a couple there, and of course the beautiful Smoky Mountains. We got all kinds of little gift shops up here with really unique stuff in it. Anakisa's got a celebration of spring in the Smokies. Blooms and tunes. Here's a cool little area here. It's got a little airstream. It serves a couple cervezas and a little snack shack. I guess you can get some drinks, some hot dogs, and maybe some Fritos. Up here they have a little concert venue, a little place where you can catch a little tunes or maybe just a little show. I got a little splash pad here for the kids. It's not good for cameras though. They have a little cafe called Kephart. Quick Bites. I believe they serve like hot dogs and sweet treats and just your basics. They have this little area called the Tap House. Good brews and great views. I guess you can get your drink on. That is one thing I've noticed up here. There's a lot of a lot of beer and stuff available now. And there is a bear. Oh wow, he's he's just he's just chilling. Hello, Mr. Bear. Mr. Anakista Bear. Oh he's cute. Oh he's a he he is a cutie. Yeah, he looks Yeah. Yeah. Well there's the bear. 
You're just chilling out. I'm just chilling on a log, eh? I'm glad we get to see a bear. So what did you think about our little trek up here to Anakista today? It was beautiful. Yes. I love the scenery. Definitely, we recommend everybody coming up here to Anakista. It's always uh, just a fun time, starting with a the chairlift. They also have trucks if you don't like chairlifts. They also have the chandalas, which are the enclosed, if you, you know, need that. Um, I believe the chandalas are handicap accessible. Definitely, um, I believe they can put in like one wheelchair. So yeah, it's really cool. Uh, we had a great time, even though we were eh, saddened about not be able to review uh, the Clifftop restaurant. But well, everybody, that's gonna do it for today here at Anakista in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And if you like this vlog, give it a thumbs up. Guys, we love you all, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.